Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Alpine Rhino Beer Review. Today we have the Rhino, and we're looking at three beers tonight, and then we're going to go off to sleep. So what are we going to look at? Um, oh, we have them all over here. Which one do we want to look at? You know what? We're going to look at this one. So we're going to look at a beer from Fork River Brewing Company. Fork River Brewing Company is in London. I have not been able to get out to Fork River in a while to pick up any beer, so I was really excited to get there today and get some of their beers. Uh, this one is a Sour Blonde Ale. It is white wine barrel aged. It is 4.9% alcohol, which means to me that it wasn't in the barrel very long. I'm going to see if this says anything about it. Tastes the way less traveled. Unfiltered. Brewed by Inla Okay, so yeah, it doesn't really tell me anything. Other than the fact that, uh, well, that date code isn't really a date code either. It looks like batch codes, which, uh, yeah, I wouldn't be able to make out. Anyway, this is Hansel and Brettel, so a sour blonde ale, white wine barrel aged, and I do believe that it, if I remember correctly, has Brett in it. Uh, this is one of the beers that came out right after Devin moved away from uh, London. Um, he was right right around the time he took the job at uh, at Innocente. And the beer is pussing up. Just like a prepubescent boy. Uh, but anyway, yeah, like I was saying, um, this beer came out, I believe, right around the time Devin left. So his uncle stopped picking up beers for me and him uh, from Fork River. And actually, that's about the time that Fork River started doing all their barrel releases. I, I had had a, a lot of their beers up until that point. But their barrel releases started coming, coming out then. And their barrel releases are fairly expensive. Um, I went in and I bought a six-pack. And one of the beers was for Christie's dad. It was their Mojo. So they're... Uh, Citra, raz uh, citra rhubarb uh, wheat beer, and that was the cheap beer in the in the package, and the six pack ended up costing forty six dollars. So I mean, you're looking at an average of almost eight dollars a bottle. But what it really came down to was a couple bottles being like fourteen dollars, and the rest of them being cheap. So it was it was just one of those things where it was it was weird to do. I do not believe this was one of the really expensive ones. I know the the barrel aged quad was pretty damn expensive, uh, and I mean barrel aging does make a beer more expensive, especially because of the fact that your beer can turn. But if you think your beer is going to turn, just throw some bread in it. You know, just throw some bread in it. Everything's going to be fine. I'm not actually making fun of this beer. I'm just making fun of brewing in general right now. Or you know, let it sour and sell it under a different name. <coughs> King of the forest. <coughs> And hope that the the guys will pay an extra uh, arm and a leg for it because it's a sour. Mm. Get out of the bottle. Very tart, kind of barnyardy. I don't know which strain of Brett is in that. Excuse me. That's for holies tonight. And I had some. I had a whole bunch of their tin sauce, which is their hellish habanero relish. I also had their mango habanero uh, sauce on there, as well as their uh, Carolina Reaper sauce on there, as well as their uh, ghost pepper red ringer and white lightning sauce, and jalapenos because they have it. And uh, I've been burping a lot since then, and it's not been tasting all that well. So I'm hoping this beer will wash down some of that burp. But yeah, out of the bottle, beautiful. Uh, slight, slight funkiness, but very sour. Vanilla and uh, vanilla and the oak coming through. And just a, a dryness from the wine. I, I would say that the yeast, the yeast in the wine itself as well as the wood is the major components coming out of the bottle, out of the glass. Uh, out of the glass, it's just dry. It's uh, it's very white wineish. Uh, 
slight bit of uh, slight bit of almost a fruity tannin and dry almost like a it doesn't say what white wine barrel they used but uh it kind of reminds me of a Sauvignon Blanc let's try it cheers Okay, so the sour of this sour isn't as all isn't at all as sour as it smells. Um, there is a little bit of sourness to it, a little bit of tartness, uh, but that that fades really quickly into into funk and uh, oak tannins. It's more it's more drying than uh, than sour, in all honesty. Yeah, oak tannins, funk, slight bit of tart, a little bit of a little touch of vanilla, but the oak tannins dry out your mouth pretty damn good. And uh, yeah, I'm not even really picking up white wine. It's just the oak itself. The barrel is uh, overpowering all of this. But this is a 4.9% alcohol barrel-aged beer. I mean, how long did it spend in the barrel? Was it a few months and it was like a 3% alcohol blonde or a 4% alcohol blonde and it was just a couple a couple uses already on the barrel? Or was this uh, something that was like washed in the barrel for a day or two and then poured out? I don't know. I don't know what they did with it. All I know is that uh, the barrel itself seems to be the dominant flavor in this. And after the barrel, it's the Brett. I mean, really, I'm, I'm drinking liquid barrel and Brett. There's not really anything from the beer left. And there's not really anything from the wine left. And there's not really much from the barrel other than that woodiness left. All that being said, I like the beer. <laughs> I mean, I like the beer. I'd give it a 7.25 out of 10. I would buy this again. Uh, I just, uh, I don't know. There, there's just things I would like to know about it. What type of white wine barrel it was, it was, how long it was in the barrel. And I mean, what was the ABV before it went in the barrel? That's, that's something else I'd like to know because the barrel just took over and I'm okay with that. It's just weird to me. So out of ten on this, like I said, seven two five. It's a it's a nice beer. It really is a nice beer. I can't deny that. I just I think I expected something much different, and I mean that's okay. That's okay. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Au revoir. I'll be in tow. I'll drink the rest of this while I watch some American Dad.